Three years ago I think ndio single yake ya kwanza aliweza kuitoa Vera Sidika na Lia. Karibu sana kwenye kipindi kama ndio nacho ndio sasa hivi. Nasema asante sana kwa timu sasa sana na dakika saba Hii ni Radio Jambo mimi naitwa Masawe. Nasema asante sana kwa kutegea kipindi. Ah uh, kwenye kipindi Nikuwa nimekuambia leo tutakuwa na mgeni na leo tumeweza kuwa na mgeni wetu mapema kabisa katika ile kuaje Vera Sidika. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hi my dear. Aki, it happened so fast. I know. Nee, Karibu nee, sana. Nafikwe saa saba. Eh yeah, lakini tumeleza mapema. Ni tumeleza mapema. Hata nilikuwa najulisha watu wangu kwa nikuwa. Nimru, nimemhurumia tu Asia. Oh. Jamani angalau mama akitoka E, kazi aende nyumbani kidogo yeah. alafu upate muda alafu jioni najua una shughuli nyingi sa, zaidi yes, mambo lakini bado siku nyingi mzuri my dear how Kwanza, are you? I'm okay yeah. Kwanza kabisa how is motherhood <gasps> amazing really yes you know a mother no, mama ki asia kweli eh? sisi kujua kuwa nitakuwa very involved sana hivyo you know most of the time na kuaga mtoto wangu by the way kweli eh Yaani hata nikitoka ni ile nimetoka maybe like 3 hours. Imekulazimu? Yes, but all the time I'm always with her. Okay. Eh. Imekuaje safari hii ya uzazi? Um, imekuwa poa and hata nikitoka nikitoka kama ni muda mchache kabisa like kama naweza tu kama like 10 15 minutes anaanza mm. kumiss na mpiga simu video call. <laughs> oh, muone tu. Eh, so kuna ile bond ambayo iko very tight alafu nikitoka huwa analia so wana scare. Really? Yeah. Ina maana gani ulipata na postpartum depression? Well, yeah, yeah, Analia. Yeah. Wewe, oh, okay. Baby. Yeah, But yeah, then, of course, no joke, mtoto akimuona mama yake anaondoka na Yeah, like, kabisa. Like anataka ya anataka kuenda na yeye. So, mm. wanna feel it makes me feel very like oh, yeah, why am I living by sometimes. Ina maana you're attached I'm na amekuzoea. Okay. Sana. Yeah. Ulipata na postpartum depression? Ah, uh, no. Oh, oh. Yeah. Wow. Well, thank God. Yeah. Um, nimekuwa na a very nimekuwa pe na a very supportive husband mm -hmm. as well um ambao tumekuwa tuki yani tumekuwa tumekuwa kwa hiyo process pamoja from mm. vile tangu nipate mimba hadi ku, kuzaliwa kwa mtoto wetu yeah. hadi after kuzaliwa mm -hmm. hata wiki zile za kwanza kwanza unajua pia alikuwa na muosha okay ni, oh. Oh, oh, eh. ni kitu lipanga vera ma um, kwa muda mrefu litaka kuwa mzazi yani yeah. shangwe na nderemo za social media zitulie utulie mm. kuwa mama kweli um, mimi naweza sema nilikuwa very ready psychologically ni kwa prepared so ni kitu ambacho tulikuwa tumekipanga unaona um alafu ilifika ile point in life ambapo ni feel like niko na kila kitu kwa, kwa kila ambacho na kifeel niko nacho maana pesa haziishi mm. hata utafute pesa kiasi gani utazidi bado kila siku unatafuta hela unaona kweli na sema bilionea hata leo unaweza pata unalala kama 4 hours 3 hours wanaamka unatafuta yeah. unaona and yeah. have money yeah. you know yeah. so i felt like in life lazima kuwe na balance mm. and at the end of the day ukiwa na family unakuwa umebalance life yako unaona hujajisahau sana katika sa, nini success na na kazi zako paka ume, umekuja ku realize baadaye oh uko 40 ama 50 mm. hey, baby sina mtoto sina familia sina mume unaona mm. unaona kwa wengi wanafanya hiyo mistake okay. na baadaye sema na realize it too imechelewa mm. okay so kipindi kip, kiniulize tu baada kupata ule ujauzito na kulea ile mimba na kujifungua umeelewa mm. 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 iliweza kubadilisha vipi maisha yako wewe tu kama vera well ilinibadilisha sana nakumbuka hata kuna kuna vitu vingi ambavyo vina change kwa life yako unaona kuna vitu ambavyo unavifanya tofauti kuna vitu ambavyo ulikuwa unavifanya kitambo huwezi vifanya tena sahi kama um, vipi vitu tu vingi naweza kuambia kama kitambo nilikuwa of course ni, mimi mimi si believe lakini nilikuwa kidogo nikienda out <laughs> kidogo na have one or two drinks you know <laughs> lakini nimekusikia mtu anaeka disclaimer <laughs> mimi si believe <laughs> no lakini ni kweli like ni kwa social drink out yeah, yeah. yeah. um maybe ni can mend out once yeah. in a while I'd have a champagne or yeah. something so ikawa sasa ikiingia iki kwenye face ya kuwa mama unajikuta hata nimesahau. Mm. Umeelewa? Sif... Eh nimesahau like niliacha kunywa nikajikuta kuwa focus yangu main ni mtoto mbona okay. mm -hmm. na, na ku, kuangalia pia help yake na kumjali ye na vitu mm. kitu chini. Okay. Okay. Maana kipi ni breastfeed na niko na nyonyesha. I was coming there by the way. <laughs> Is it possible to pla I mean uh, take two. <laughs> Is it possible to breastfeed wakati ambapo kuna implants? Yeah, kweli. Really? Yeah. Well, haiduru yeah, no, hai maziwa yanatoka kawaida. Asikuwa uh -huh. na pump naonyesha kwenye Insta story. 
watu naona na pump maziwa yanatoka kawaida unasikiaje lakini <laughs> unasikiaje <laughs> no unajua no usiki well sijai kwa na mtu mwingine sasa siwezi jua kama no <laughs> <laughs> sasa nabaki vile vile baada kujifungu baada ya kunyonyesha sasa hivi maana ulinyonyesha kabisa nilinyonyesha yes hata nimemwachisha kiwa nimemwachisha kiwa kama 8 9 months okay yeah kiwa 8 9 months ndio nimemwachisha so uno... does it feel different now that uh, umeshaacha kunyonyesha yamebaki vile vile ama yeah. kidogo itabidi ah, urekebi <laughs> wende ukarekebishwe tena <laughs> mimi na feel yamebaki vile vile kweli uh, lakini yanakuwa ya makubwa yamekuwa makubwa sio unajua ki, ukiza hey, na mimba ya yeah, kweli yanakuwa yeah. ya makubwa ya yeah. kura so, so ina maana gani itabidi urudi urekebishwe tena kwa sababu no yamekuwa makubwa lakini set yana ayasaga <laughs> sorry bus no unajua nini vile ukienda ukiwa unaenda kufanya upasuaji surgery uh, kabla uchague um sajari ipo kuna unaambua una unachagua kama unataka kunyonyesha in future unachagua ile ambayo unaweza ukaweza kunyonyesha in future ah. na kama unaona utaki kunyonyesha in future ama umemaliza umefunga mambo ya uzazi okay. unaweza ukachagua ile ambayo inakuzuia wewe kutonyonyesha really eh. so kipindi hiki wewe ulikuwa unajua wakati mmoja utakuwa mama eh, eh, na lazima unaangalia hizo vitu maana yake unaweza kufanya mistake baadaye uka ukataka Uka... kuwa mama mimi yeah. yote mlikuwa uko utaki watoto alafu baadaye ukasema eh nataka kuwa na watoto so they permanent ama kwa muda fulani utarudi utolewe um, si permanent you know anything that goes in inaweza toka okay <laughs> okay kwa kitu unaweza kinaweza toka ni time eh eh unaweza kinaweza okay. kikatolewa so um si permanent ni kitu mm. ambao ukitaka unaweza kwenda kwa ndoa kwa okay. kawaida unaweza yeah. kuondoa ukafanya kubwa zaidi au ndogo unaona lakini ni kitu ambacho naweza nikasema uh, breast implant ni one of the safest surgery okay. sababu na feel kitambo ilikuja ili ilikuja is it intrusive ilikuja is it an intrusive procedure not really not really sababu kitambo unajua mm. ilikuja kujulikana sababu ya cancer patient yeah um in one thing ambao watu hawajui by the way mm-hmm. so wanawake ambao walikuwa na suffer breast cancer walikuwa sometimes mtu maybe anapoteza titi moja yeah. anakuwa anabaki na moja so yeah. ile ku avoid stigma na kuwa ile na low self low self esteem yes ilikuwa uh, kulikuwa na kulipa kulitokea option ya hiyo implants mm-hmm. unaona so hiyo mm-hmm. option ilikuwa ni ya kujaza ili titi ziwa lingine lionekane ni sawa na lile lingine na lile lingine yeah. you understand yeah. Yeah. so that's why it's a very safe procedure, uh, procedure. inakuwa ni procedure ambayo haina haidhuru yeah. maana yake pale ambapo anaweka hiyo implant ni pale ambapo hai interfere na tissues za kunyonyesha and stuff like that yeah. ni kama like an empty pocket kama ki, kifuko hivi umeona okay kitu yeah. kifuko kinaingizwa tu hiyo nini hapo ndani okay yeah. so koko wewe ilikuwa ni ina umuhimu gani ku, kuweka um, why did you go for this procedure well kwangu mimi yeah. nilikuwa na feel unajua mimi nime, nimezaliwa nikiwa unajua watu wa Mombasa ni jamani mm-hmm. katika rai nini so nime <laughs> miogo <laughs> miogo unajua yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah. nime nimezaliwa nikiwa nikiwa nime nimejaliwa unaona na makalio mm-hmm. lakini sasa nilikuwa siku sikujaliwa na kifua <laughs> Uko na mpaka u balance. So I feel siko proportional. Okay. So I just felt like unajua in life pia ukija uki uki ukiwa na uwezo ukiweza kufanya one two three things yeah. na Mungu akikujalia uweze kupata hela hapa na pale. Mm. Unaweza ukafanya one two three things. Kama yeah. ukuwa hawezi afford wig, utaweza kununua wig 1500, 1100, mm. unaona? Yeah, yeah. So ni kitu ambacho nilikuwa nimesema ah sabu sahi naweza na najiweza mm. na naweza nika afford kupata daktari mzuri wa nje yeah, yeah. why not you know yeah, at yeah. least nikae proportional ni feel better you know okay. there's nothing okay. bad about looking better for your own good okay. you know okay mm. Niko na Evera Sidika iwapo kwamba una swali maswali mengi sana baadhi kutoka kwa wasikilizaji nitakuwa nawapatia fursa baadaye kidogo kuweza kusema nao moja kwa moja mm-hmm. ila tukipindi hiki nikumbusha niko na Evera Sidika una swali kwake uh, nambari yangu ya SMS ni 22494 uh, okay analiza who got the honey and the money Vera 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 what Vera Veni Vidi Vich okay VS yes okay basically ni life story yangu ile mm. nilitoka Mombasa like yeah. 10 years ago mm-hmm. actually no nimetoka Mombasa 209 September mm-hmm. eh, so ni more than 10 ni kama almost 12 and a half 13 years okay um so nikakuja Nairobi nika take over unaona mm. okay. so that's the meaning of Vera Veni Vidi Vinci oh wow kem mm. so conquered, conquered. <laughs> okay wimbo huu kabla kutoa jamani mm-hmm. uh, 
au uh, uliweza ku trend sana katika mitandao ya kijamii yeah. i remember myself uh, actually after seeing your after seeing your um post mm -hmm. Okay, just a minute. Producer and distract. IV. Me, I'm like a man. <laughs> <laughs> I can't walk. I mean, I can't cross the road and chew at the same time. Yeah. Anyway, um, I remember um, wakati ambapo ulikuwa unatoa this particular song, the mm. pop star song, your mm -hmm. current song. Mm -hmm. Um, uliweza kuweka vitu katika mitandao, okay? Mm -hmm. Ukisema kwamba unajuta sana kuenda ku kuenda for the surgery for you, you know for the butt enhancement na ulikuwa kuna uh, shauri you know wasichana wadogo wasikubali kuingia katika pressure za social media mm -hmm. and it was quite serious honestly yeah. I, i i thought mimi nilikuwa kwa moja wapo niliamini kweli walai niliamini niliamini kabisa kwamba eh hey, okay wow mm. so nika nikauliza ta wasikilizaji wangu Mhm. Uh -huh. Ni ni post niliyo kangauliza jamani uh, would you at any point yeah? Mhm. Uh -huh. Enhance any part of your body that you're not satisfied with. Mm -hmm. Na kulikuwa kuna majibu tele kila mtu kila mtu alikuwa anazungumza kila mtu alikuwa anazungumza. And oh, of course kuna wale ndio kuna wale hapana kuna wale yeah. umenelewa yeah. that's vanity ni nini yeah. nini. Uh, at this point I was quite disappointed nikisikia ah ilikuwa ni kitu. <laughs> Why? Why? Because Uh, there's really social media pressure vera yeah, yeah it's true na uko na uko na huge following umeendelea mm, eh yeah, i was like vera no oh. i know why did you do that why <laughs> well, did you go that way because seriously for people that look up to you took yeah. you seriously mm -mm. yeah and equally um one thing is nikasema ni kuwa watu wengi ilikuwa like an eye opener kwa watu wengi you understand especially watu ambao huwa wanatamani sana kufanya upasuaji waongeze makalio any part of the body ilikuwa an eye opener manaki ilikuwa like eh hey, okay kumbe hizi vitu was not happen you understand nani ilikuwa kwangu mimi ilikuwa ni kama kuelimisha watu kuwa vina hivi vitu vinatokea manaki kuna pia post nilikuwa nimeweka kwenye stories mm. ya hizo issues ikitokea kwa watu wengine lakini nilikuwa wapo nilikuwa na ficha sura uso zao yeah. lakini nilikuwa naonyesha kwa hizi vitu zina happen ukweli nje manake watu siku zote wana wana, wana praise surgery unaona yeah. yeah. oh nitana niongeze hii niongeze kile nifanye hiki nifanye hiki lakini people don't talk about the side effects and sometimes kitu ambacho kinaweza kakuondea vibaya yeah. you understand yeah. people wanaongea uzuri wake mm. lakini ni ngumu kupata watu wakikamu wakisema ubaya wake manake kila mm. kitu kinacho uzuri kina ubaya kweli unaona kweli so wanawake wengi wanaweza kukimbi ya kufanya surgery just because wana ile pressure kutaka kuka a certain way, a certain way. unaona yeah. na mtu anaweza kwa hiyo pressure ya hiyo anaweza kakimbia akajikuta kwenye wrong hands ukaingia kwenye situation ambapo ume lose life yako umeingia kwenye situation ambapo imekupatia effects mbaya ama pale ambapo umeenda ni cheap ndio lakini it's expensive in the long run inakuja na kukost baadaye unaona so basically i felt like kidogo ili create awareness kwa kuwa hizi vitu kweli zina happen. Do mimi kwangu mimi mi, my by, my butt behind yangu ni real. Yo, I, for real for real. For real for real. Sinakwambia ni kuna okay. picture nilipost hata juzi. Yeah. Uh, throwback picture. Kitambo hata before ni kwa famous before hata ni kwa yeah. before ni kuja Nairobi. Mm. Well, Kit, we we sema that time it, it was just the right star, size. Size is a bit eh, exaggerated. Well, eh, sasa wewe pengine muongezea eh, kidogo tu apa. because of the well, pressure. Well, even nilikuwa ninajaribu kuelezea watu. Maana mm. ukiwa tayari wewe una una shape nzuri hautakuwa na pressure hiyo ya kutaka ku, kuzidisha sijui kwa mimi personally sizi ona any need kama nina shape nzuri kutaka kwenda kuiongeza maana yake tayari uko na nilikuwa tayari nasifiwa hata shule nilikuwa nimepatiwa nickname fulani unaona yeah. um ukiuliza watu wa Stove C ukienda ukiuliza watu ambao tulisoma nao watakwambia the same thing um so hiyo time nilikuwa nime nimebarikiwa nilikuwa na shape nzuri hata nilikuwa sometimes niko najificha maana yake nilikuwa niko shy ile na vaa vitu bagi nini and ikafika point vile nilianza kuwa kwenye serious relationship for the first time nikaanza kutumia contraceptives Okay. Kuna contraceptive line nilikuwa natumia ambayo ilikuwa ni injection. I, think, I remember the first nilikuwa na KU, nilikuwa mm. nasoma KU. So nikaenda kuna kuna clinic karibu na pale nilikuwa naishi. Nilienda nikasema nataka kufanyia contraceptive because niko kwa relationship ambayo ni serious na sitaki kupata watoto siko ready. Mm. Nikapata injections for three months. Mimi bila kujijua side effects zake nikajikuta nimeanza ku nenepa kunenepa lakini upande unajua ikiwa kama mimi nilikuja kuambia baadaye kuwa most times mwanamke akiwa kama tayari amejaliwa 
fat cells nyingi ziko huku tayari. Yeah. Um understand? Yeah. So the more una, unaongeza weight inaenda huku zaidi maana yake kuna kuna fat cells nyingi. Okay. Maana yake gen, gen, genetic zangu, jeans zangu na kwa flat stomach. Okay. So pale ambapo nilikuwa ni ku mkubwa ilikuwa ni huku chini. So the more mtu kiongeza weight lazima huko kwa kukubwa kuliko kwingine. Hakuwezi huku kwa kukubwa na tumbo iko kwa exactly kama huku. Yeah. Sio kama unaelewa hiyo yeah. proportion. So yeah. yeah. nikajikuta na na add weight na add weight kwa kuwa natumia contraceptive. Mm -hmm. So hiyo nikanifanya nikakaa mkubwa, mkubwa zaidi ya yeah. vile yeah. nilivyokuwa na vile nilivyokuwa nime nimeumbwa yani vile nilivyokuwa na kaa. Okay. So nilipoacha actually nilikuwa nimeenjoy kuzitumia kuz, contraceptive manake kwangu ilikuwa kidogo na ni avoid kupata periods <laughs> na wanawake wengi unajua kidogo huwa wapendi mambo ya yeah. um, so yeah. Yeah. at that time of course nilikuwa bado niko miyang niko uni na unajua madem pia mambo ya hey periods hey. Yeah. <laughs> so kidogo ilikuwa na feel okay kidogo i'm not getting periods so it became like an addiction unawana kutumia yu contraceptive ata nikiwa niko single oh wow you eh. actually loved it because sasa siko na bata periods which was very very it's i make sense because it's 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 a risk it's a risk peer yeah. no na yeah, kutumia kitu inakuwa ni kama addiction mm -hmm. anything that is addictive it's a, it's it's drug abuse yeah. no na yeah. so hiyo i think ilifanya ni ka blow out mm. of proportion but kusema kweli masewe yani mimi sisi tunapenda makelele yangu kwa makubwa kiasi hichi hakika kikweli yani mimi ningependa yani ya kuwa madogo Uko. si madogo sana lakini okay. yani ili grow to a point mm. when ili feel ni me mm -hmm ni growth of point only feel nime nimekuwa ni nimekuwa too much yeah um understand and mimi si mtu wa gym mimi si mtu wa diet cuz napenda steak <laughs> napenda vez karai biryani pilau unajua so no. inakuwa sasa ngumu zaidi sikali <laughs> ni problem ya kila mtu appetite <laughs> eh sasa inakuwa ngumu zaidi yeah. sasa mimi tutaenda gym as you go to trade go trade so what are you doing to maintain your weight because there's this image mm -hmm. about you and, and you know most people are saying if vera has lost her bum mm -hmm. because even though megi uza sana katika mitendo ya kijamii well, vera well. you know with the big booty mm -hmm. yeah so what else will she have to sell umenelewa exactly, did that right. you know such comments did they get to you like oh people see vera they see a bum Equally, yeah actually and also say even mama eh, ungetaka eh, mtoto wako ajulikane would you want your daughter to be objective you know like as seen as an object uh, yeah yeah i understand well kwangu actually nilijua kwa watu atakuja hizo comments maana ke first nikifanya nikifanya hiyo shughuli before nifanye hiyo shughuli nilifikiria kwanza ni kitu kipi ambacho kitafanya watu wa washangae zaidi vera anajulikana kwa nini yeah bam unaona view gave video nilifanya you part of that Are you proud of that? Well, neza nikasema in one way yes or no. Neza sema ndio I'm proud of it and no because I'm more than my bum. I'm very intelligent and very smart. Uh nina akili sana. Mimi brand yangu for the past 10 years I've managed it myself. Everything. No one has come with an idea to me. Uh PR in terms of strategies, kila kitu na plan mimi mwenyewe. Unaona? Now I feel like It's because I'm smart and I'm very creative, unaona. So hiyo ni kitu ambacho watu wengi hawakijui. Hawa I'm also an artist, I draw, I paint. Lakini watu wengi hawakijui, unaona? Mm. I cook. Yaani mimi ni mwanamimi ni mwanamke wa kawaida. See, I'm not this superstitious <laughs> woman, mysterious woman. Mimi ni mwanamke wa kawaida. Lakini watu hawezi ona hiyo. Watu wanaona tu, ai Vera Bam, Vera Twerk, Vera, unajua? Hiyo yeah. ndio kwenye akili ya watu. Um two I would say I'm actually proud of it sababu if not for that I wouldn't be here today unaona singekuwa nimetengeneza opportunity na unajua hata mwenye kutengeneza hiyo opportunity ya kukuwa successful ni unahitaji akili akili sana mm. wanawake wengi ni warembo hatari wase warembo na wamebeba mm. kila mahali matiti makalio everywhere they're very pretty lakini at the end of the day if you're not smart you won't use it in the right way unaona utabaki uko na urembo lakini hakuna mali imekupeleka kuna mwanamke mwingine anaweza pata si mrembo zaidi lakini ako smart you understand na atafika ata mali mbali sana in life tutapata na own ma apartments ma nini ma properties maana kanatumia akili yake yeah. unaona so i feel like watu wengi in a way imenisaidia maana ke nilitumia opportunity ya kuwa famous ku convert into cash yeah. umeona mm. into a money making um opportunity and channel unaona mm, so mm. mimi nilitumia hiyo as a good thing so i wouldn't say kuwa i'm not proud so there's a there's a it's a it's a it's a um, it's a bit it's a way it's a yes or no situation where it's like a win win it's a no because um i don't want people to just see me for my bum 
and it's a yes because at the end of the day it's what got me to where yeah, i am today yeah. mm. um, now that you have your daughter a child yeah. mm. uh, would you want to change the narrative on social media to be seen as this person who is just an ordinary woman i mean free time yake you can paint draw yeah, yeah. yeah uh, you know would you like to change how people perceive you as vera um. <laughs> you know Ah, yeah. actually no, no, actually kuna kuelezea hiyo kiki nilifanya maana yake nilijua watu wengi tawashangaza first unaona watu wengi wangekuja kwa kujua no unasema in the future sasa hivi imeisha yeah imeisha sasa sasa imeisha so in future yeah, yeah so yeah. yani ni kama wewe na muonekano mpya pengine sell this other person that people do not know maana kesi sasa hivi unasema wewe lakini watu wengi hawajui this other side of vera yeah yeah, yeah? true yeah true. um of course i would like to sell it but sitaki kukuwa ni kama na force watu waone kitu fulani just because nataka waone kitu fulani yani nataka me personally i like to live my life in my own terms unaona mm -hmm. nitafanya kila ambacho kinanifurahisha mimi na si sababu oh sasa hiyo ni mama unafaa kufanya life yako iko hivi unafaa uishi hivi uishi vile at the end of the day this is showbiz you understand so ini biashara and this is my office as well mm. so at the end of the day na balance na angalia angle ipi ambayo ita, ita, itakuwa sustainable pia as well on mm. my side mm. na ni lose balance because unajua pia at the end of the day kuna wale watu ambao walikuja kwa life yangu waki expect kitu fulani na kuna wale ambao wanaku expect fulani so naza create balance yeah ile life ambayo mimi naweza taka kuishi nitaishi mm -hmm. na tena life yangu hiyo nyingine ya kawaida huwa naionyesha online na mm -hmm. post na post na mtoto wangu na my husband na post and they see that side of me hata watu wako na believe kwa nili unaweza kutulia msitu, unaweza mm -hmm. kutulia mm -hmm. so naona hiyo pia tayari watu wamekuwa ile ile like eh hey, kumbe ni kitu ni serious unaona mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so okay. naweza sema balance inaweza kuwa vizuri maana yake huwezi taka kujibadilisha ndio uweze kufurahisha watu kweli unawana? so uliweza ku trend actually two days in a row Okay. Mm -hmm. Na kulikuwa kuna wale ambao wali, walikubali wimbo popstar mm -hmm. lakini kuna wale pia ambao walikuwa wamesema what is this? <laughs> <laughs> kuna wale pia wali walikataa wakasema ni amsheni vera kimaliza ku <laughs> Uh -huh. Wow, good to see you laugh because you see I, I don't you're, you're human, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Sijui unachukuliaga vipi wakati ambapo we and you know Kenyans on Twitter can actually really yeah, really yeah, yeah, wa, yeah. come really hard on you eh yeah. Sijui unachukulia vipi um the trolls <laughs> the trolls gosh let me tell you one thing mimi na believe trolls ni watu ambao wanakupenda zaidi Sijui maana make sense <laughs> ni kama wanapenda yani unapenda kuchukua ni kama wewe una mume wako alafu kuna jina fulani ambacho hiyo hilo jina si la kudekeza sana lakini la uchokozi tu lakini hata hata ile jina kila time lakini seti anakuchukia anakupenda so anakutania tu anakuta jina ambalo halifurahishi mm. lakini hilo jina si alimaanishi kuwa ni la ukweli anakupenda tu ndio maana anakufanyia hivyo ni kama kutania so me i take trolls evil trolls ni watu ambao ni fans in, in denial ni mtu ambaye haja hajataka kukubali publicly kwa ni fan umelewa mm -hmm. lakini anajua aki troll ni kitu ambacho kita trend comment yake ita trend mm -hmm. watu ta like watu ta comment sasa inakuwa ni kama like a fun thing to do umeona maana mm -hmm. kimtu akiandika comment nzuri hakuna mtu anashughuli na umeona lakini yeah. kiandika kitu kibaya yeah. inaweza kachukuliwa na blogs and stuff like that so mimi wanachukulia trolls kama watu wa kawaida in life okay. na ndio wamenifanya paka nikakuwa place nimefika sasa hii this is your second, second single day. right it's my third actually your third single mm. um Unaimba unapumzika kwa muda mrefu alafu una rudi tena inakuwaje mm -hmm. kwamba hauna ule mfululizo kama umeamu consistency umeamua mm -hmm. kwamba mimi ni msanii mm -hmm. na ndio njia yangu hii na naona umebadilisha mm -hmm. uh, mtindo wako mm -hmm. sasa una rap mm -hmm. is this what we should expect more ama yes unarudi kuanalia a a ah we kwanza unapenda hivi unapenda i think i like uh, is it honey or the money uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, i feel like you know more of my personality um i enjoy it i enjoy it and i in more i do it more with a passion uh, i have fun with it you know na mm. i need limit kufanya vitu vingi so i feel like that's the direction nataka kuchukua and this whole thing Rap. i may create yeah this okay. the whole this whole thing i may create ili watu waweze ku who have the idea kuwa nimerudi kama artist full time um understand mm. like sai kutakuwa na consistency na kutakuwa na a lot of uh, stuff coming this is my first one nimefanya okay. lakini najua by the time nafanya 2 3 4 
I'll be okay. You understand? Okay. Yeah. Na si lazima, mimi si lazima mtu ampenda muziki wangu. Mm. Wanaka the end of the day nobody uh, upendi na wote. Eh si kila mtu atakupenda. Mm. Na mimi si mimi naweza kosa kupenda kitu chako. Unaweza kunileta kitu ngakosa kinua maana yake sikipendi. Si yeah, si yeah. ni kitu kibaya. Yeah, Lakini kwa kwangu it's not my it's not my style it's mm. not my taste mm. lakini kwa mwingine itakuwa ni taste yake unaona so mm. kila mtu ana taste yake mtu anaweza kuposa kupenda kitu chako akapenda cha mwingine and that's okay it's human we can't all be operas <laughs> that's true that's why, eh, that's yeah. why kuna, kuna the crazy people in the world na kuna the mother teresa and you know mm. watu ambao pia wako na influence yao tofauti mm. na kuna watu ambao wako na influence yao ambao na, na crazy angle unaona yeah, so yeah hiyo yeah, ndo life okay mm. wow so um kipindi hiki ningependa kuuliza tu wakati ambapo unapata zile trolls kuna do you go through them unapitilia unasoma um, eh napitia mbona nasoma by the way nasoma comments si si eti lakini unajibu sometimes wanajibu sometimes na, na like sometimes yani sometimes hata naweza check na nika pin hata comment mbaya okay yeah so for me i feel like nikisoma comments kwangu ni kama comedy <laughs> Ko sometimes mtu anaandika kitu ambacho kinaudi lakini kinachekesha at the same time. Si yuko mnaelewa. Ni is it get to you? Wajua mwanadamu ni mwanadamu tu. Kuna vitu vingine vinasema kwa unaona tu. Ai, sasa kipindi hiki sijui ni kitu gani kimeandikwa kimesemwa kinakugusa kidogo. Ah, well, kusoma kweli kitu ambacho kishai ni gusa ni kitambo sana. I think vile nilianza kukua famous um nilikuwa na uoga zaidi ile mtu akiandika kitu kibaya kunihusu ilikuwa kinanikera paka nampigia mamangu simu naanza kulia oh my god mambo mbona unasema hivi hivi unaona lakini ilifika point in my life nikaanza kukizoea ikawa ni kitu ambacho ni cha kawaida umeona mm. so hiyo kuzoea hiyo troll imekuwa ni kama part of my life so sasa hii nimefika ta stage ambapo mtu akianika lolote ni yeye opinion yake haimaanishi kuwa mimi i'm less of a human ama i'm less of a person sababu ya I, information ambayo yameweka nje. Uwezi jua mtu ana go through depression gani ama mtu ana go stress gani ana yeah. stress kwako. Mm. Na mimi life yangu niko niko okay. You understand? Yeah. So yeah. for as long as najua niko okay, my family iko okay, it doesn't matter what anyone has to say. It is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. Vera Sidika in the house on a swali kwake na kupatia nafasi kubwa zaidi. Tukaprodia one tuko tunamalizia mazungumzo. Niko na Vera Sidika mimi naitwa Masawe Misalele ka 15 timu satana asubuhi. Kama ndo nasha idea sasa hivi nasema asante sana. Uh, Vera Um, anasema kwamba sasa hivi mtarajie she's the new rapper in town na kwambia yeah. naona uh, your fellow rapper aliweza kushabikia katika mitindo ya kijamii ah, uh, Diana Bahati ah yeah niliona yeah. mm. na pengine niulize tu how, how is that for you mnelewa ku uh, did you write the lyrics yourself mm. ama kuna mtu alikuja kusaidia katika utunzi wa muziki mm. yeah uh, mauzo mume wako najua mm ni mwanamuziki pia je mliweza kusaidiana kwa pamoja mm. you know kutengeneza video just the whole journey how was that for you um, well it was good um, first of all unajua tuko na studio nyumbani oh eh, a recording home, studio yeah recording studio so watu wanakuja ku record eh, eh, ah. producer nyumbani tuna record oh nice so ni more private as well um hata eh, mume wangu ana record nyumbani nyimbo zake zote Okay. Eh, uh, atay record nyumbani. Oh, really? Uh, so okay. you at least ni rais. Who have you produced so far? Huh? Kuna nani mmem produce? Ah, uh, no 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 no, we don't uh, record at It's not commercial. No, it's not commercial. Oh, uh, okay. It's personal to yeah, project zetu. Okay. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. So tuko na nyumbani so tukitaka tunapata producer anatufuata nyumbani alafu tunafanya kazi zetu. And then uh mimi wangu amenisaidia sana maana yake ameni connect na the best video directors na peer producers ambao wanaweza kufanya project kama hii. Maana yake si kila mtu anaweza tengeneza beat ya hip hop. Um, na pia ameweza kuni alikuwa kwenye video by the way behind the scenes. <laughs> yani ame amenisaidia kwa in very many ways. He's yeah. very supportive. Yeah. Alikuwa kwenye video behind the scenes, mm. uh, number one cheer leader. So siku zote yeye kile ambacho mimi nataka kukifanya huwa na support 110%. Mm -hmm. Yaani no matter hata kama watoto mwangalie utamuona vipi. Hata hii issue ambayo nilifanya hii ya kuwa makali wangu hayapo. Hii mwenye pia ali support. Niliona. Niliona alichangia kwa kick. As <laughs> my dear wife, I will sure miss the bum. However, <laughs> Mbuli <laughs> tuchokesha <laughs> eh, of which si kila mtu ambaye anaweza ku anaweza ku support kwa angolio yani kwa kila kitu ambacho anakifanya wewe anakusupport mm -hmm. so nashukuru kwa kuwa amekuwa akinisaidia na direction ya kuenda kwa in terms of muziki na stuff like that uh, project ilikuwa poa nilirecord actually audio nilirecord nilifanya kama two days 
mm-hmm. two days verse 1 mm-hmm. siku tofauti verse 2 mm-hmm. siku tofauti verse 2 mm-hmm. na kwa rasi okay. tofauti okay. um tuka shoot eh hey, but then nilifanya faster maana yake nilifanya kila kitu in, in let's say wiki moja wow eh, okay eh, ku record na ku shoot the same same time okay mm. daddy ana kushabikia zaidi baba mzazi baba hey. Hey, I was a zongo of course I shall be. Kwa sababu mama alikuwa anashinda kidimiza. Mimi dadi akiona mimi kidogo dadi akiona hii video the part where you are displaying the goods. Anasema gaje? Um maybe that's you on the video. Lakini hata wewe unaona kidogo una haya. No lakini lakini sio kweli wazazi wangu siku zote huwa wanani support. Kwa sababu mama wangu kwa muda mrefu alikuwa akiniuliza unarudi nini anza endelea kuimba mbona uliacha kuimba unajua? So niko na wazazi ambao wana support ni wazazi.com. Sio la mbona unaweza kuambia eh mbona unafanya hii usifanye hii unaona? So wana understand kuwa siku hizi dunia imebadilika na technology may change so nowadays um, entertainment iko na iko unaweza pata mtu kwenye entertainment anza ila ndefu mm. kwa mtu mwenye kwa ofisi maana ke watu wamekuja ku appreciate art unaona art mm. in all forms kama yeah. acting yeah. music so unapata hizo skills zinapata more uh, coverage sahihi na zinapata more visibility sahihi mm-hmm. so ni ni industry ambayo ina grow na ina pesa na watu wamekuja kuona hicho kitu so wazazi siku hizo kwa very open minded unaona so wazazi wangu wana support sana mandugu zangu wana support kumkwa ngapi familia hata yeah. age with their skills so wana dance oh. <laughs> Karembo by the way <laughs> fana babake babake mtupu really it's wa, i tell you already yeah, wow i hope tupata mwaliko eh inshallah au tukijana talk by the way eh tuko wengi na we are a big family we are a team i see um ngo na kulizaje jamani ah mbona umenipoteza mko ngapi kwa familia tuko watatu mimi ni first born and the only girl oh yeah responsible that is girl that is girl my dad nisponge na you you close your mom or dad dad okay nisponge na, na my dad for two days atanipigia na mbi eh sijaongea na wewe muda mrefu oh <laughs> na mbe dad tumeongea juzi is i okay yani I'm, i'm such a daddy's girl we talk every other time more mm. than my mom okay. na nili grow up kwa daddy's girl so i feel like asia pia kwa hiyo phase alikuwa daddy amekuwa daddy's girl sana sana yani babaki akimuona anamkimbilia yani haiwezi akamuona hivyo akamwachilia okay eh, so she's okay. very much of a daddy's girl i think na understand okay <laughs> ndio ipo vipi sasa hivi mm? ndio yako iko vipi ko poa tuna tunaendelea poa well si, si believe kwa ni mimi niko married <laughs> unajua kwa really anam- why is that sababu ata relationship kwa kweli masai relationship yenye kuenda six months zaidi ya six months ilikuwa ifiki <laughs> ah <laughs> Ukimpiga okay. sana kwa mahusiano uh, ilikuwa ni miezi mingapi? 6 months. Maximum. <laughs> kwa hivyo ukifika mwezi wa 5 unajua mwezi ujao kwisha. <laughs> well, hujui lakini unajua I think 6 months maybe kwangu ndio ilikuwa inaweza kuni, kunijulisha ama kunionyesha kama hii relationship inaenda mahali ama ni dipa. Mimi si mtu wa kutaka ku waste time. Siwezi penda ku waste time yangu mahali ambapo unajua hakuna future. Kwa sababu mm-hmm. day time muda unaenda, muda unasonga na nimefika kwa stage ambapo sitaki kuwa kwa relationship just because cuz i'm not a teenager yeah, true. Sianzi, ma, sianzi relationship juzi ama sijaanza juzi so siwezi kuwa kwa relationship na kama miaka miwili mitatu na najua hakuna mali tunaenda unaona so i think ikifika three months huu shaanza kujua na kuona the real true colors za mtu mm, unaona mm. first month second month mtu anaweza pretend third month fourth month sasa unaanza kuona the, unajua hani mtu ukweli wa mtu isho ukweli wa mtu so i think kwangu ilikuwa inafika ikifika hapo five months hapo six months najua kabisa huyu yako hivi yako hivi ama kuna kitu kwa fulani kinatokea tu ushapigwa character development by the character development hmm ebu define ile ile umeteswa ile umeteswa moyo jamani mtu amekunyosha kimapenzi ah yeah ishe tokea ishe tokea of course ukalizwa eh i mean i'm human so yeah. ishe tokea what we fall in love na sometimes you fall in love with the wrong person or they don't love you right back the way you love them yes eh, yeah. they don't love them ama unakuwa kwenye situation ambapo unampenda mtu una ile what break vera ah nisoma kitambo okay akuwa hapo kwenye chini eh kwa nchini Kenya kitambo okay. eh, ni kitambo sana mm. so naweza sema yani unaweza kuwa unampenda mtu na labda yeye pia labda kuna intentions zingine ama haoni future ama yeye anaona tu sahi kuwa ah nyinyi wapenzi tuna we just having fun lakini wewe labda una una ma, you have other intentions unaona because mm. mimi si mtu ambaye napenda mimi nikiwa kwenye relationship niko very very faithful i stick to one person 
okay. I, I never cheat. Yeah. I never cheat on anyone. You cannot date number two. I never cheat. Now that's something that all my exes on it confirm. But sometimes so we mean Libra. So Libra what mm. sana. Like we fall we fall in love, to not very emotional, to not very attached. So we give our all. Like in to not go say I to not go to fault. Okay talk on it's like that's it. Mm. No, no. So now that's my only part of life, like in your jewel, like one to buy go perfect. Exactly. Like like <laughs> Imagine. Eh? Chop eh? breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> so kill him to an epitome of your life. Kwa jumla ex wako ni kama ngapi vile? Ex wangu. Kwa jumla tu. Kwa jumla ex wangu ni nasema kama watatu. Okay. Kwa hivyo jokuwa katika mahusiano sana eh. Ah no, not. Ah okay. Mm. Keep it to faulty na baba mtoto wako sasa hivi sasa hivi brown mauzo mm. unasema kwamba kipindi cha awali mahusiano yako yakienda ya sana ni muda kama miezi sita mm. sasa hivi umekuwa na mauzo kwa muda gani sasa ni two years five months kipi tofauti <coughs> a lot yani most of the time unajua watu kwanza kiona watu ambao wako mtandao mimi nitakwambia stop danganya nilipokuwa kwa relationship na mtu ambaye alikuwa kwenye entertainment industry nili feel after your relationship haikuenda sawa nili feel sitaki tena kuwa oh by the way nimemkumbuka ex wako mmoja now that you have said that no nili feel sitaki sitaki kuwa na relationship yeah nili feel sitaki kuwa na relationship na mtu ambaye ako kwenye industry that's the ill kwa my thought i what do you mean industry kwenye industry like mtu ambaye ni famous but brown mouse is equally famous that's what i'm saying like initially you know after my mosini yangu na mosini yangu na mtu ambaye alikuwa kwenye industry sikutaka kukuwa na mtu ambaye kwenye industry tena unaona mm, mm. but ilifika point ambapo unajua nafika point sometimes Mungu anakupa kitu ambacho ukitaki just kuonyesha kwa si kila mtu ako the same yeah, unaona yeah. so vile nilipokuja vile tulipatana na brown coach shame it one year before mm. ilikuwa like very casual mm. na tukaja tukamit na baada yote mtu kimit nilikuwa nina date mtu mwingine okay. unaona yeah uh, na, na tulimit nikiwa na huyo mtu ambaye nilikuwa na mdes Eh tulikuwa <laughs> so awkward. Really? Eh kwa hiyo the first time we came to limit ni kwa niko na my ex hiyo time lakini ilikuwa tule hi hi bus. Akatusalimia basi. Alafu baadaye ndo tukakuja tukakupatana baadaye ikiwa mimi niko single, alafu yeye pia alikuwa single as well. Uh-huh. Na nikakuja kumrea nikakuja kuona ni mtu tofauti. Yaani the same way mimi watu wanani misjudge, yeah. the same way watu wanani misjudge. Oh, okay. Unaona unajua masewe hii industry especially media hata yeye alikuwa aamini kwamba unaweza kutulia no, no, kuwa eh, mke kila mtu unajua of course mimi for example nikiona celebrity nitaanza ku maybe pia ninaweza kuwa na mawazo fulani kumuhusu yeye yeah. yeah, anaweza unamdhania kuna... tofauti yeye pia anaweza ndania tofauti yeah. unajua lakini ukikuja mkipata ndafu na realize eh okay huu mtu si vile mimi nilivyokuwa nafikiria mm. na huu si vile nilivyokuwa nafikiria so ikakuja kwa situation hiyo ambapo iko tofauti na vile watu wanavyo wanavyo mchukulia okay. na as much as ulikuwa na ni attack na mimi nilikuwa nimesema sitaki kuwa kwa relationship na mtu wako kwa industry niliona mtu tofauti na hata yule ambaye unaweza pata mtu ambaye haiko kwa industry lakini akawa ni mbaya zaidi sana unaona yeah. yeah. na ukapata mtu kwa industry na ni mzuri ambapo hawezi unajua brown kwanza hanywi mm. hajai life yake kunywa alcohol okay na hata kwenda club sijui kwa ba si mtu wa hizo okay. so mtu ambaye kwanza hanywi alcohol ni mtu ambaye ni mtulivu mwanamme ambaye si mwanamme ambaye atasema oh unajua nilikuwa nimelewa sikuwa najielewa ama kitu kili happen anatumia alcohol kama mm. oh so, nilikuwa nisikujielewa it's the alcohol unajua sasa so, so, si mtu wa, wa vitu kama hivyo hiyo okay. ni one two ni yuko very very prayerful very prayerful sana eh, that's one thing watu ambao hawezi expect na hawezi jua yeah. so ni mtu tofauti na vile nilivyo nilivyo ndani ya at first sababu yeah. unajua kuna so many stories zilikuwa zimetoka alafu pia katika mitendo yake yeah. kuna stories nyingi zilikuwa yeah. zimetoka so yeye yeah, aliona div tofauti kwangu huyu na mimi nilikuwa na tofauti kwangu vilianzaje by the way na bronozo tulikuwa mabest tulikuwa wewe uko tumeanza tulianza kama marafiki tulikuwa tunaongea tu tulikuwa na Mombasa yeah tukao tunapiga tu story ile kabisa sometimes sometimes tunapigana simu tunaongea paka 5 in the morning kuanzia yeah. saa 3 saa 3 usiku paka 5 in the morning kwa hiyo tunapiga story story to your life what about shade date vitu tu vingi tu yani yeah. mengi unajua kama unapigisha mtu story about life yako kama best friend sasa bado mnaongea muda mrefu hivyo eh i mean unajua tukuku tulikuwa na ile tulikuwa very open like unajua kwa open na mtu unaona ah huyu huyu ni naona ni kama ni mtu mpoa ni naweza kuwa kama best yake yani at that time mdani kwa ni ni mtu yeah. ambao unaweza kuwa na mapenzi mm. na yeye unaona mm. so mtu kama unajua unaweza muambia anything 
sababu unajua unajua ukiona unajua unataka kuwa na mapenzi na mtu kuna vitu ambavyo unavificha maana kiotaki mm, yeah. akijua kitu fulani labda atani 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 ata judge yeah. angle fulani yeah. so tulikuwa tunazungumza openly about so many things okay umeona na katika mitandao tuliweza kuona kwamba brown mauzo ina, ina ilikuwa inadaiwa kwamba alikuwa na familia na kaiacha ndo akaanza maisha na wewe jeni ya kweli ah si ya kweli Well kuna so many things ambazo zilisema about hiyo situation na one thing watu ambao hawaelewi unajua ukiwa ujui life ya mtu ya ndani unajua alikuwa si mtu wa ku wa ku post hata stories and stuff si mtu wa ku post so watu hawajui life yake ya ukweli unajua wanaume wako kama wanawake ambao wana post kila kitu mm. na mimi ni mtu wa ku post post you understand sasa mimi ni mtu ambao unaweza jua life yangu vile ilivyo eh hey, huwezi jua maana yake huwezi muona akipost sana unaona yeah. so ilifika situation ilikuwa hizo stories zinatokea na hiyo ni uongo maana yake maskini siku zote wanamke akiwa wameachana na na ex wake siku zote ataenda kusema kitu kibaya kuhusu mtu mm. kama aliachana kwa ubaya ama kama kuna mmoja hakutaka mahusiano ya, ya ishe mm. na mwingine alikuwa anaona haya ha, yani yamefikia mwisho unaona so ilifika situation ambapo mimi by the time tuna meet na ye, alikuwa kwa single alikuwa ame alikuwa ameachana na ex wake naweza sema kama 8 months walikuwa na waliwanza kupata mtoto eh walipata mtoto ndio ah, okay. walikana kama 8 months walikuwa kwa mahusiano naweza sema ilikuwa ni 20 2019 inaweza sema kama 10 months maybe okay. mahusiano kama 10 months na hiyo time wakiwa kwa mahusiano walikuwa alikuwa pia anafanya kiki na msta star mwingine online okay. at the, time, the same time akiwa na mahusiano na yeye mm-hmm. so watu wote walikuwa hadhani kuwa huyo mwanamke ana mdate maana yake alikuwa na mtu mwingine tofauti kwenye okay. kwenye online yeah. understand okay. so ilikuwa the same period hiyo yeah. kiki ki happen yeah. alikuwa akokuwa mahusiano na huyo ex wake so okay. ikatokea kuwa mambo haikwenda sawa wakaachana so kuachana mimi baada ya sana mimi alikuwa ameachana na for like 8 months na mimi nilikuwa na my ex for about tangu January to August hiyo ni in how many months January to August that's like around 6 7 months 7 okay. months mm-hmm. nilikuwa nimeachana na my ex na yeye alikuwa ameachana na relationship for 8 months so by the time tulikuwa tuna meet so tulikuwa tuko single lakini ndio alikuwa ako na wamepata mtoto kwa hiyo relationship nyingine ambapo ni kitu ambacho huwezi uka uka change unajua ukipata mtoto na mtu haelazimi haimaanishi kuwa lazima ukue kwa mahusiano mabaya mm. just because mna mtoto mm. unajua vitu vinatokea kweli you understand yeah. na kama kitu ha akikupatia wewe peace ama una feel hakiku in a way haiku inakujengi eh inakudrain yeah. yeah. hauwezi jilazimisha maana yake itafika point tu mwenyewe uta give up tu yeah. baadaye lakini yeah. itakuwa miaka zimepita ama kitu kime zimesonga si zimesonga unaona okay. so ndio walipata mtoto lakini mm. ma, 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 vizuri that's why mm. ilibidi wame wameachana so hizo okay. vitu zote ni sababu watu wakisikia kuwa oh mimi na yeye tuko kwenye mahusiano kila mtu atataka kuleta kuwa unajua hivi unajua hivi unajua hivi so just because wanataka kuku kuwa kuwa create ya mkae ni kama nyinyi watu wabaya mm. na mtu anataka create ni kama oh wewe ulikuja ukafanya hivi ukafanya hivi ya ah, mimi i'm not that kind of person okay eh, mimi si mtu ani hiyo kabisa okay mm. okay um kipindi hiki ningependa tukujua kutoka kwako vera uh, sasa hivi mwenelewa na kuona hata kucha zako yenyewe vera amebadilika you guys <laughs> kucha zake ni za kulea hata hata nail polish <laughs> kucha ni fupi yani uko nyumbani kama mke yes. yeah na, na you, you can just see it from her that she's really yani it's a new heart ameweza kuvaa mmenelewa mm. and she's not yani ujuti kabisa eh mm, kabisa. kwanza familia so tunakuonaga katika uh, mitandao kijamii kwamba unafanya club hosting mm. exactly what is the job description here unatakiwa kufanya nini ah you just sit and look pretty <laughs> <laughs> you interact na fans i think club hosting most people are waelewi ni kuwa ukiwa na host kwenye club first of all the biggest part in a play ni marketing umeanza oh, okay. sababu kabla hiyo siku ya kuhost umefanya marketing ya hiyo club watu wakisema kama atakuja nini eh umeanza uh. kwa same plan kuna mtu anaweza kuwa na issue hiyo area na hajui kuna club kama hiyo na exist okay. lakini akiona anaona oh kumbe kuna club hapa hata before hiyo siku yako ya kuhost anaweza kaenda kwenye hiyo club okay. maana yake amediscover kuwa club iko tu karibu na na pale anaishi yeah, unaona yeah. so hiyo marketing na play a big role kwa club hosting mm. and then now siku ya kuhost ni na interact na my fans na piga picha nao watu wengi ambao hawezi kupata time kutana na wewe moja kwa moja maana mimi most i rarely go out i don't go out 
at all i only go out kama na host okay eh lakini eti ni am kitu ni sema nataka niende out juu kwa fun you know that i'm not any i'm not ni mtu wa nyumbani sana hata brown pe mwenyewe yuko hivyo so so eh tumepatana so most of the time tutaka home tuta watch movie ama tuki ama we go for a drive ama twende maybe kwa lounge to mahali ama hotel mahali ama kumetulia tu to relax so ni very hard kukutana na watu most time tunaweza kupatana na watu kwa petrol station wala mbona wanafanya kazi petrol station ah very evil ama ni yani ni ngumu hata supermarket sijaingia kwa 7 years why the last time nilinge ilikuwa drama <laughs> kuna picha nilipost hata online nikameshikilia yeah. fruit hivi alafu kuna watu walikuwa naniangalia yani ina create a lot of attention unaona so so you don't live your life mm, life yako inakuwa nani anafanyaga shopping supermarket maana kitu wakati mwingine eh. you unataka kwenda kujichagulia this is exactly what you want Ah uh, niko of course niko na watu ambao wananifanyia hivyo na huo nikitaka exact thing lazima wanatumia picha kila kitu na approve. Oh, eh, okay. Kwa WhatsApp. So sija imagine hata town sija kwa town ko so long. Sika, How do you buy your clothes? Remember. Most of the time online. Okay. Eh, eh, online. Lakini uweze aenda kwa duka kununua kiatu nini? Eh, no not really. Do you miss living a normal life? I do. I do. Hata nyama choma I miss going out to jo- joints. Unaona no, kama pale kuna choje Kenya choma no <laughs> ile place ni choma in a choje by the way. Same gun the way. Ile place. Kenya choma market. Kenya choma market. Eh. Kenya choma market. Simba gadi ya. Ya Kenya choma market. Eh. Kitamu ndo anaenda hapo na kula nyama choma na jinjo. Yeah, hey, nowadays. If I want nyama choma it brings it comes home. <laughs> Unajua no, it's it's different. Eh, hey, it's very eh, different. It, nyama choma ya mbao na ya foil tofauti yeah, yeah. true yeah. so sometimes pia na kuwa kama town sijaingia muda mrefu sasa ni imagine mimi nikitembea town kama supermarket tujaingia for 7 years ni town yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, anyway tukimalizia tu maneno yako mwisho unasemaje kwa mafans wako kwa the young girls looking up to you and i think you need to put i don't know the truth uh, vera ni kwamba kweli kuna uh, social media pressure mm. and and kuna watu na kufuata sana na yeah. this social media pressure what am i saying ni kwamba imefikia wakati wasichana mwenelewa mm-hmm. wanataka kuishi maisha ambayo they cannot afford yeah, yeah? Mm-hmm. Kweli. this flashy lifestyle but you know it comes with a cost yeah it does yeah yeah, yeah? yeah? sasa sijui role yako ni gani hapa you know because really like i said uko na very huge following mm. and these young girls are looking up to you and yeah. you know when i'm posting what is she saying yeah, yeah? Mm. considering you even have a daughter yeah true yeah. um hmm. social media peer pressure is actually social media no make peer pressure <laughs> you quickly i mean if not for social media actually surgeries has been quite very popular you understand kitabu before watu wako na instagram all look very much okay but vile instagram ilianza kila mtu akaanza kuona ai ude manakapo hana tumbo ako na nice bum ako na nice boobs eh ni mrembo you know just because unaweza jua naweza kwa that's maybe that's not how they look maybe they use filters or after me a photoshop kufinya there but the fact that you seeing what you're seeing you want that yeah. you will always want to get that you mm. understand mm. so that's the reason na sema social media may cause a lot of insecurities in women a lot of kila mtu anataka kapoa sababu bwana tano na demu nyingine kwa instagram ana kapoa yeah, yeah. and most of those chicks don't even look exactly what you think they do mm. um au ni zapata au anatumia filters wanatumia ni normal mimi hata natumia ga filters a lot <laughs> everyone uses filter which is part of life most of the time eh uh, most of the time yeah, yeah. um na, it, all that is because social media caused this whole thing so yeah. i feel on our case i feel like if you feel like you really really have a social media in a perfect in the sense that in a kufanya us feel comfortable in your own skin then maybe i feel like ni very important u you kind of like avoid looking at you know, there's a thing there's a there's a guy there's a celebrity amba alikuwa follow anyone on social media in kenya ni kwa nini ni nyasha mani nani alafu one day tukamuuliza but then mbona ufollow anyone nakasema ukifollow watu on instagram hapo ndo unajipatia pressure because now you get to start seeing kwanza let me tell you is kupate when you are down on yeah. your instagram everyone is happy you know? looking nice drinking yes, very this, expensive this. drinks eating in fancy restaurants you <gasps> super understand eh sasa hiyo story yako traveling you know sasa unapata mtu maskini hai ana na maisha yake yani unakosa hopelessness yes yeah. yes sasa kuna hii narrative ambayo watu wame create like hai ikiwa kama mimi like my birthday baby yeah. this time my birthday i just went for dinner with my husband and my my baby and i was very happy you understand yeah. because it's it's 
it's fulfilling if you're content with what you have you'll always appreciate any small thing that you do for yourself yeah. not because i can't afford it uh, but how much is a party it's it doesn't cost much but sometimes i've gotten to this age where i prefer having an experience, an experience than more, spending money yeah on uh, parties yeah, on parties you yeah. understand so yeah. the experience is what matters the moments you share that yeah. are memorable you could yeah. have a party but you'll end up being stressed about the whole party. You understand? Yeah. Oh, why is the nini not okay? Why is the... Th so you end up not really having that genuine moment and experience with, with yourself and your, your closed or loved ones mm. just because you're trying to impress this kind of... You know, people will be like, ah, her birthday, she didn't do anything or ah, she didn't do this, she didn't do that. But sweetie, really, I choose what to do. I've been to Maldives, I've been to Vegas, I've been to UK, I've been to Dubai, I've been, been to around Paris. the world and there, yeah, I've, yeah. You understand? I've been to all places in the world. Mm. I've done everything. I've been to yachts, I've been to private jets. Like literally, you've done everything. How what, are you affording this lifestyle, Vera? What difference could you do? You understand? Yeah. Like what difference could I do that would pass everything else that I've done? Yeah. What, no, no. How are you affording this lifestyle? Um, well, in so many ways. First of all, I've even hosted in internationally. I've hosted in the UK, Malaysia, China, um, Kenya, of course, so many places in Kenya. I've, I've done Uganda, Tanzania before. So all these things that come, they come with a package. You know, once you build a brand that is luxury, you know, people know where for, I, I buy original designer stuff, you know, um, and all these things come with with la with um with a with a with a tag. So once you created that brand, I created my brand from making club appearances because I do lots of club appearances and my fee is not as is not as cheap. You understand? Um, club appearances. I do have businesses as well. I have V talks. You know, I have V talks. I have the V Spa. Um, I'm in the real estate and as well. Um, doing a couple of Airbnbs here and there. So all these things come with with fame as well when you're famous you convert the numbers to money okay you understand yeah if you have two million three million followers and you're smart enough you can convert those figures to money i mean if women are going through a phase where they are not and you know you when you solve when you solve people's problems it's a way of generating income because you know the biggest business idea you can have is for you to actually solve people's problems because people always have problems. You understand? Yeah. If someone is having weight loss issues or they're having a problem with their tummy, they'd want a solution to that. Yeah. And in today's world, yeah, yeah. And, in today's, and you know, in today's world, Masay, in yeah. today's world, yeah. what to what to have a time in gym? Mundo kweli. Unajua ko busy, you know, a shortcut. I want to take a shortcut. And that's mm. why people now would go for surgery. Other people would go for the gym, but very few would go for the gym. Lipo. You understand? Very mm. few at the gym. Sababu your time iko wapi? Unaona? Akiamka by the time anaamka and I get ready, I'm in a job, I'm a rude, I'm a choker. Mm. It's literally life has changed. I couldn't your time anymore. So I offered this solution here yeah, to help women lose weight through a very um natural way. Um your Vitox, it's herbal, very, very organic, and it does work and it's worked for, I've had the business for like five years now. Okay. Yeah, this is the fifth year. Okay. And it's doing well. And you have like diehard clients who keep you know it's word of mouth. So yeah, referrals. this one tells yeah, referral. This one tells yeah. the other one, the yeah. other one. Yeah. So we have lots of clients, especially Somalis. A lot of them actually okay. from Sicily. I love you guys. You guys are mm. so amazing. Yeah. A family would buy like 30 packs. Wow. Imagine. So okay. the dad, the mom, the kids will all use it. Okay. Because yeah. And especially okay. in Kenya, we don't have like female gyms, na male gyms, especially for Muslims. So in a kwa ngumu kumanamke, for example, kama Muslim wama Somali, kwenda gym. Manaki anajua hatonekana on our own. So yeah. Okay. But then you come to Kimaliza. Uh, I just want you guys to know that I love you so much. For those people that were really scared. Pole <laughs> now penda. Nah, it's it's never it's never that serious. Najua, I did shed light on um, the whole situation. Na nikweli kuwa surgery is not okay vibaya. Na kama unataka sana. If you really like, I'm not saying that all surgery is bad. Like ni ukio unataka kufanya surgery, na you really feel like that's the only way out. Make sure mepanya research yako and you go to the right person. Though mimi makale yangu ni real. I feel like he may say, "Dear, I want to Who are very cautious, and careful when they want to make that decision. Um, I love you guys so much. I have this new song. Make sure you check it out on YouTube. In it, a pop star. So, how many months it's been? By the way, 
After no, pop sinyamazi. star? No, 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 sinyamazi. Okay. Maybe kumekwana, kumekwana issue. Mm. Mtu kisa kivera sidika pop star, they don't find the song. Actually, oh, really? Kumekwana so many views, yeah. Why? So, unless when you search, kisa kivera sidika, you find my account, that's when you get to see it. Okay. But initially, unkuoneza kufa. It's due kwa nini? I think the computer algorithm, something, something of the sort. Okay. Mtu kisa chaezi pata pop star. Mtu pili lini? Tutopili, inshallah, maybe. Sijui. <laughs> na focus na, na focus na Asia sayi mwanzo. Okay, okay. Akue kidogo. Akue, you know, yeah, na, yeah, eh, then yeah. inshallah, you know. But, but you know, it's the normal African pressure. Ukisha zawa kwanza. Ninini, amesha kuwa, mpatie playmates. Yes. Nana na pen out your pressure. Oh, wow. Imagine my family, don't have never. Actually, my family, my mom, my dad, wako very, very modernized. How yeah. nini patile ishu ya... Yeah unaolewa lini unapata watoto lini sijai kuwa na hiyo kabisa so okay. yeah <laughs> vera sidika pop star ndakwenda kuchezea tena <laughs> yeah unaweza kufollow kumfollow kwenye, kwenye youtube na uh, instagram YouTube, as well yeah. so youtube ni vera sidika that's my account um make sure you follow the right one um na instagram ni queen vibo set yeah okay queen vibo set thank you for coming vera thank you <laughs>